Hi, I'm Zutali and in this video I'll be drawing a bioluminescent dragon from the game Day of Dragons. Bioluminescent dragon is currently still in its concept phase. They have actually finished the model and rigged it but it doesn't have any animations yet and it's not in the game yet. It's also a Kickstarter exclusive dragon so you can only uh, spawn in at it as it if you actually got the Kickstarter um, two years back, which I, I did actually go in, so I, I'll be able to nest to spawn in as the Bio Dragon. Um, but other players can still play as the Bio Dragon. It's just that you will have to rely on other people nesting you in, so inviting you to an egg rather than you being able to spawn in from the game's menu spawning screen. The dragon itself is not meant to have any offensive attacks, so it ba basically its ball attack is going to just make you glow. It's purely a cosmetic dragon, so it's small and fast and lives off nectar. Um, it also will be living in like glowing caves, shimmering caves. Uh, so the description of the dragon made me think of hummingbirds and you know just the way they flitter around and drink nectar and stuff. So that was the idea behind this picture. I wanted to make sure that the dragon came across as a small hummingbird dragon. So I did tr spend quite a bit of time trying to make those wings look like they were flickering pretty quickly like a hummingbird would. I, I know at this stage, I've already doing the sketch, I know the wings aren't quite right, but I will work on them later on in the piece. But for now, I wanna get a background down because I do wanna have a specific lighting theme to this picture. So I'm just creating a rough background here for a cave. So it's sort of like the, the bio dragon is in the cave and you're looking out of the cave. So you can see the light from the trees coming through the trees in the entrance of the caves. And then I'm just gonna add like a little stream coming in and some like glowy blobs because they're supposed to be shimmering caves, right? So there has to be like some luminescence in here from something. So I don't know, it's glowing, it's glowing fungi. That's what it is, that's what it is. Uh, and I also add the flowers in um, that the dragon would be drinking from as well. And then I'll move on to doing the flat colors. This is another full paint, so it's not really a speed paint. I did take my time with it as I wanted to have a fully completed picture. Uh, so this did actually take me five and a half hours from sketch to finished picture. And I did actually spend probably about an hour uh, after that creating some icons for it as well. Um, but I have noticed that a lot of people don't ever make it to the end of my videos. So I have decided to speed up this video a little bit more. So it's at 25 times normal speed just to make my video a little bit shorter. It didn't make it much shorter and it made like four minutes shorter. But I guess that's, you know, if, if the speed looks fine, then there's not really much point having it any longer. Let me know if you think this is too fast or if you think it could be even faster or if you even made it to this point at all. Um, I really would like some feedback if people would like to see me what I'm using, like the tools I'm using a bit more, or if they're happy to just watch like the time lapse and are quite happy for it to be very fast as long as they sort of get to see a rough idea of the steps. Um, any feedback in that will help me decide on you know what I do with my next videos. Now the flat colors and the background, rough background is done, uh, I'm going to move on to shading. Before I do so though, I want to decide where the spots of lights are going to be on this picture. So the idea is that there's light coming through like a hole in the roof of the cave or something. So I just put some rough streams of light down so I can decide where the light will be hitting the dragon and then I add pretty large amounts of shadows in the areas where the light doesn't hit the dragon as I want it to be pretty obvious that not all of it is in you know, full sunlight it is partly in shadow um, and then I delete that that light layer because it was it was, kind of, it was very crummy I do add another one in later um, but it's very subtle it's not I decide in the end that a really bright one doesn't really I couldn't get it to fit the picture properly, so I don't have very bright streams of light, um, but I will add them back in later as a faded out version. I also took some time trying to decide which colour scheme to do for this dragon. There are quite a few different skins concepts um, that they've done for this 
dragon and I like a lot of them but in the end I decided that the iconic skin which is the colors I'm doing here uh, suited this the theme of the background the best sort of fitted in the best and I think I'm I think it's my favorite out of the ones that they have they've got like a gray and purple one and I do really like purple uh, and I like gray so I like I mean I like the constellation shadow scale so I guess it's just like kind of like the bind luminescent version of that and the green one's really cool as well but uh, I like coloring aqua aqua is always a nice color to color shade and stuff it's I like mixing in the greens and blues together so I decided to go with the iconic one as said before because it sort of fits the background better and two I enjoy shading and coloring blues and aquas. I actually really like the buyer's little glow sticks or glow antennas. I think they're like little antennas with glow blobs on the end of them. They're really cute. I'm not actually sure which part of these this dragon is meant to be glowing which is not. It was pretty obvious in the concept art that the antennas are meant to be glowing but I have a feeling the tail blob glows as well and maybe even the spots that I add later but I wasn't quite sure so in the end I kind of just add like a light glow to the, the tail blob and I leave the, the spots not glowing maybe maybe it has the ability to increase or dim its glow that would kind of make sense you know if you're a small dragon um, you probably don't want to be glowing all the time it might be might attract some unwanted attention so maybe Maybe it can choose to turn its glow spots on and off. I think, yeah, that's what I'd do. I liked in the concept art for this dragon how its scales kind of looked almost glittery. So I made sure that when I was doing my own picture, I was trying to emulate that sort of glittery look. And I basically just did that by adding like spots of more saturated colors. So, um, you know, I'd take the blue and I'd just saturate it more and put like little specks around it and um, in between like different colors so darker and a light color I'd add like little specks from the lighter color into the darker color and that was kind of fun to do and it's really easy to do as well I've now like cut its wings off because uh, as I mentioned before they're not right so for the time being I'm not going to have the wings on they're not going to be present for quite a while while I fix up and finish coloring the rest of the dragon and then I'll go back and focus on the wings and um, make sure that they're positioned correctly before trying to make it look like there's some movement in the wings. Oh yeah and some people may not know this because it's not obvious in the concept art but it does have glowing beans, little glow toe beans. So I made sure like with the turned up back paws that you could see like just the hint they've got those little you know like cat paw beans um, they are and they are glowing just a tiny bit. I had to make sure I added that in because it's so cute I can't wait to play as this dragon. I'm really excited that it's gonna be the next dragon they put in so I'll be super excited to see once they start animating it how they go about animating the flying for this dragon It is meant to be able to fly backwards and hover and that kind of stuff So I do think they are gonna be trying to make it like a hummingbird but um, I guess that presents its own challenges. So I'll be really interested to see how the animations end up for this dragon. And if it does end up being like having super fast flapping wings or if they, they kind of find the middle ground or maybe abandon the quick wing thing altogether. You anyway, know, I'm excited for it. And um, I'll definitely be playing as the bio dragon when it comes out. And I'm more than happy to nest other players in if you don't have the the bio key then I'll be online when it's released and nesting people in if they would like to play as a dragon. I can never get through an entire picture without struggling incredibly in one part or another so for this one it was that arm and hand so um, you may have noticed I was redrawing it quite a few times there and in the end I just cut the whole thing off and repaint the body underneath and um, now I'm going to redraw it on a separate layer so that I can make adjustments without affecting the body underneath uh, and after that I'm finally happy with it I don't know I just struggle sometimes you know you might you can never get things right the perfectly the first time at least I can't I always have to sketch things out and think things out and quite often I'll like go to references if I can't figure it out I'll have to have a look at something for a while or maybe sketch a few versions of it for a while before I get it right 
Um, oh yeah, whoops, don't look at that. That's, that's for later. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and find every moment that that comes up and blur them. Oopsies. <laughs> I'm sure I'll reveal it to you eventually. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do with that stuff. It's secret stuff for now. You'll have to wait and see. Well, yes, moving on. Uh, well, I'm almost done with the body of this. I'm just adding like some more little cute flex, little glitter flex. Uh, it kind of looks, I kind of like how this looks without wings. It kind of looks like a, like it's swimming. Maybe it's in swimming in an underwater cave or something. Um, I think it would make a pretty good sea dragon as well, but uh, that's not what this is. So I will actually be redoing the wings in a moment. Um, so I'll be re-adding them in and pretty much just redrawing them and recoloring them and then I'll have to um you didn't see that <laughs> oh dear I'm definitely I'm a professional I'm definitely a professional <laughs> I probably could have cut them out but I don't know it adds to the realism or something <laughs> all right here we go here's the wings so I'm gonna try positioning the original ones first uh but really I kind of really just need to go from scratch and uh, I do actually get some reference of my own um, up on my phone to see so like how angles of wings go because this is kind of a weird angle so I do you think you'd actually be able to see some of the top of the wing for this so I do add like the little you can just see that little eye spot that's actually on the top of the wings just kind of a shame like you can't see them in this picture but you know they're on the top of the wings so in order for you to be able to see the front of the dragon and the top of the wings it would have to have its wings down in front of it which is actually what the concept art has. It does have its wings like flapping downwards so you can see the spots. But I wanted I wanted to have it um, that the wings were in motion. So I didn't want them to be crossing the body because I also wanted you to be able to see most of the body. So now I'm going to make the wings look like they're in motion. And how I achieve that is I just duplicate the same wings two more times. So I have three versions of them. And I turn their opacity down on the two additional versions. And then I get a sort of streaky brush and I color pick the color of the wings and just put some streaks across the wings to try and make it look like you know, there's a bit of blurred movement there. And it's not, it's not exactly how I envisaged it, but I think it gets the message across pretty clearly that its wings are moving at quite a high speed. And that's pretty much all I do for the wings. So it didn't take too long to fix them, but I did... You know, I noticed that they were wrong from the start. I just left it to last to fix it. So now I'm just going to do some adjustments on the background. I decided that my background was too light in the center um, for it to, like, it didn't really look like a cave. So I darkened it up a bit and then I brightened the opening up so it really looks like the light's coming in from outside. And then I'm going to spend quite a bit of time fiddling with these flowers that I'm not quite happy with. So I kind of fiddle around with the colours for a while and uh, in the end I'm semi happy with them. I'd say they're not perfect. I could have probably painted them properly and spent hours on them but I was I just wanted to get this done at this stage. Um, I'm quite happy with how the dragon itself looks. There are a couple of things I could spend a bit more time doing but I just I wanted to finish this picture and honestly I, at some point I just have to decide when something is finished and stop playing with it and five and a half hours is uh that's the amount of time when it's time to to stop maybe maybe i'd go to six hours maybe seven hours all right so i take a long time drawing but you know what i was happy with how this looks and i think it would make a good desktop background too yeah i've just added back in those pillars of light i mentioned earlier on uh, these are very bright at the moment. I am going to dull them down again as I mentioned earlier in the video They're not going to be very prominent and then I instead decide to use a gradient a radial gradient from the corner the left corner to make most of the lighting um, That's coming down from you know the cave holes above and just tone down those pillars of light So you can sort of still get the idea. There's light streaming in but uh, it's not as bright as I had it before uh, I will then be making the final color adjustments to the flowers. So I'm going to change them again. I kind of like how they look with the lighter bit on the inside. So like the white 
Uh, but yeah, I don't do any shading on them. They're not the focal point of the picture. So I'm just going to add a gradient and then blur them so that they're not in focus because the, the dragon's meant to be the focal point. So, and I don't want to spend another three hours shading flowers. But I, the last thing I'm going to be doing is just the um, blurring of the character to create focus for the character. So I'll just be duplicating the layer that has the dragon on it and blurring it and then erasing away the places where I want you to be focusing so around the face of the dragon and the body of the dragon um, and then I thought about putting a black border on it but I didn't like it so I deleted it and I signed it and we finished I finished it Woo! I'm really happy with how this came out there is another version of this where it's just the dragon without the blurred that I kept separate just in case I want to use it later I also then made a bunch of avatars or icons if you'd like to use any of these then message me but yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give me a like, and if you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support me. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!